friends welcome back to our channel where i inspire your desire to be great to be great to be great thank you guys so much for tuning in watching another video if you are new to my channel welcome hey my name is christina nice to meet you don't forget to hit the like button on this video if you like it also leave a comment and most importantly don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're feeling my videos okay so before we get into it to my amazing supporters thank y'all so much for all of your amazing support i love y'all i appreciate y'all thank y'all so much for always showing me good girl love i truly 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 appreciate it so before we get into it today is saturday november 19th is currently 7 46 p.m and your girl is getting dressed i am going to a friendsgiving um and i just figured i would film this video um like a get ready with me since i'm getting ready at first i wasn't going to because i wasn't sure if i was going but now i know that i'm going so now we're filming this video and baby now we here okay so um i pretty much already started getting dressed i need to take this thing off of my head but um i already like laid my baby hairs and stuff like that ouch um, I already laid my baby hairs as y'all can see. I put my lashes on already. I'm about to finish my brows. I also did my lip already. Um, I got some jewelry on from like my house fit. I'm probably gonna end up just wearing this because I'm in the mood to wear gold. I notice I've been wearing silver a lot. So yeah, I'm gonna just pretty much, the main thing I gotta do in this video is get dressed, like put on my actual outfit. I haven't finalized what I'm wearing yet, but we gonna finalize it. And um, I gotta finish my brows most importantly. Um, yeah, and then we just gonna talk, you know? And then I gotta decide how I'm gonna style my hair. I think I know how I'm gonna style it, but anyways, we gonna get into it. So I'm gonna tell y'all this story time um, that I think will be interesting. Um, I've never told this story before. I just haven't, so I figured I would tell it on my channel. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyways, y'all, so. Oh, that's another thing I gotta show y'all too, y'all. I cleaned my beauty blenders today. If y'all want a video on how I cleaned them, I can put y'all on because baby look at this this is squeaky clean squeaky 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 clean and I am ready to dirty them up again y'all so some of them I ruined them one of them a few of them I ruined them so I had to throw it out but those ones the method that I tried with those ones actually worked so um we gonna get into it and I'm gonna link some of the products that I'm using in the description box so in case y'all want to get them um y'all could get them so I'm about to conceal because I already did my brows. That's another thing, just so that y'all know. I'm sorry. Um, it's a get ready with me. So we won't talk about getting ready. But um, that's another thing. So the there's a brow pencil that I use, y'all, and it's so fire. It's so raw. Like I absolutely love it. But I can't find it on Amazon. I got it from Marshalls, I think. Yeah, Marshalls. That's where I got it from. Crazy, right? But it works it's a duo thingy thingy it looks like this but yeah that's what i used to do my brows um and it's pretty fire so anyways i need to pull my hair back actually we're gonna get into it so this is a time that i almost got arrested one time only time in my life never again i was in high school and i got into a little a little tussle you know not a fight i don't consider it a real fight it was just a little tussle a little one hit and that was it but <laughs> if y'all don't know i used to walk around with a box cutter y'all i really did crazy crazy old me i used to walk around with a box cutter um because and i'm gonna kind of tell y'all why i used to walk around with a box cutter as a pretty girl like people used to try me y'all like they would really try me they would think that because i'm pretty i'm not going like set it off on them you know what i'm saying like don't do that like don't do that no but the real backstory to why i walk around with the box cutter um my freshman year of high school <laughs> um my bus stop was like super far away from my house um, not super far but it was quite a walking distance and um I 
used to have to go to the bus stop by myself because my mama was a hard-working woman so she couldn't take me to the bus stop so I had to go to the bus stop by myself and I used to go like super early in the morning and it would be like dark out or whatever and y'all it will be dark out and um one time i was out there by myself and i was heading to my bus stop and i'll never forget it was this car that um what you call it it was this blue navy blue car parked up and when I was walking past, the guy rolled down the window, he pulled out his private, and he told me to get in the car. Baby, I ran so fast, I ran so fast. Like, I, I couldn't feel my feet by the time I was done running because I ran so freaking fast, y'all, and I was scared, and that scared me. So, um, wherever my mom, I don't remember where she was working at the time, she used to um, use, like, box cutters as a tool i guess for her job or somehow she used to bring home box cutters i don't remember fully how but i know she did used to bring home box cutters so maybe like one or two they was just like around the house or whatever so i started walking with one i think i told her the story but i didn't tell her that now i'm gonna start walking with the box cutter because i'm scared but I did, I started walking with a box cutter. Ever since then, all my friends in high school know I always walked around with a box cutter. So that, in addition to the situation that happened, people knew like, I wasn't the one, don't try me. Like, I will cut you. I think I told like a few people that I would cut them because they would just try me. Like, you know, sometimes people would try to like pick on me and stuff. And like I said, the box cutter just had to let them know that I'm not the one, right? So. That's what happened with that. So I got into a little tussle, like I told y'all, cause y'all know that TikTok where it says, you know, the girls like to tussle, okay? And in high school we did, <laughs> um, but <laughs> I got into a small little tussle, y'all. And um, I ended up getting suspended for a few days and um, returning upon my suspension, the police is in the, um, what you call it, waiting for me, in the office waiting for me. Like, me, I'm coming back to school thinking everything is good, everything is gravy. I'm not gonna lie, though. I think I did say if the girl tried to, like, come for me again that I was gonna cut her. I think I did say that, and it became a rumor, and it got back to her, so she, um, so she, what you call it, her mom, I think, called the police or whatever, and as a result, they was up there waiting for me. So, thankfully that day, I did not um, bring the box cutter with me. I didn't have it on me that day, thankfully. I don't know why, like I just had a feeling that it wasn't a good day to bring it anyway. And I wasn't scared either. I, in myself, I also knew if she tried it, we was just gonna fight again or whatever. So anyways, um, yeah, so, the police was there waiting for me and then I got called, I mean I had to go in the office before I was able to like go to class, class or whatever and they were like just talking to me like you know, um, first of all I think they asked like did I threaten to cut her and I was like no and then two they were like do you have like a box cutter on you or any weapons on you and I was like no and then they were like okay you know um like if you were to ever like cut a student or whatever that could be a serious crime you could end up in jail blah 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 like you know so thankfully that day i feel like if i did have it on me i don't know like anything could have went wrong like i don't know can you be charged for walking around with like a weapon i don't know but the police they pretty much like try to scare me or whatever and yeah that's the story behind the time that i almost got arrested y'all so um continuation though like to the box cutter part of it um how i stopped carrying a box cutter i was traveling y'all this was when i just started like traveling not like just started traveling but traveling a little more often i was um a freshman in college i would say and i got no I kept my box cutter in a certain part of my purse. Um, I had this purse and it had like this mini pocket and I kept my box cutter 
there. So, um, you know when you go going through security at the airport, you gotta put your stuff, um, you gotta put your stuff, how you call it? You gotta put your stuff through security. So my stuff went through security and then they, um, of course they flagged it and then they were like oh we can't let you do security with this i said y'all can have it and i let them keep it and then ever since then i just stopped walking with the box cutter <laughs> so that's how that happens but that aside y'all don't fight in school y'all to my high schoolers to my students that um what you call it that watches this video hold on one second to my students that watches this video y'all don't get into no fight it's not worth it at all and don't do anything that could possibly get you arrested and threatening someone if y'all get into an altercation it can turn into something serious so don't threaten nobody y'all don't stay out of trouble and yeah that's my story time y'all i don't got nothing else but yeah, that was like the first and only little tussle I ever got into in my life. Um, I'm not like a fighter. I'm really not. Hello? I'm aggressive in a sense. Like, <laughs> I am an aggressive person in a sense, but I'm not a person that will like fight you. That's not my thing. You really gotta like press me or try me for me to do that to you. So, yeah. But I'm feeling myself, y'all. Y'all like Look at my brows, lashes, lips, baby hair late, honey. And now I'm about to go put my outfit on, show y'all, and this video gonna be a mother freaking wrap. And then I got some more good story times for y'all. Like, I got some more good story time coming for y'all, like on the way, I'm gonna open up about some things. Y'all probably gonna be shocked about this because that's a side of myself, like, not a lot of people know and I'm comfortable with like opening up about it it's just I was sitting at my desk working one day and then I was like baby I could talk about this like my supporters would be interested in knowing this about me so yeah this is like the second story time that I'm sharing with y'all that I know y'all gonna be interested in knowing about your girl so stay tuned stay tuned stay tuned stay tuned I'm about to go get dressed show y'all my fit and that's it like we getting better with these get ready with me's around here yeah <laughs> bye y'all i'm gonna see y'all the next part of this she's back walk, walk, walk. <laughs> anyways y'all i am done getting dressed i'm feeling myself i feel so cute um actually while i was packing my bag y'all y'all know what i just realized i do still carry something on me only difference is it's not a box cutter and it's a little bit more legal but i keep a mace on me y'all because when i used to go for walks and stuff my husband used to tell me like just to be safe to carry a mace in the long run i do want to get like licensed to carry firearm or whatever so i'll let y'all know when that happened but for now a mace will do and i'm pretty sure it's a lot safer than a box cutter but y'all i am pretty much done getting dressed i just got to show y'all i gotta just style my hair really 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 quick and then we're gonna show y'all my outfit um but i am done getting dressed and i gotta head out in a minute girl is dressed blessed and not upset okay <laughs> anyways y'all so I'm about to take y'all and i realized i gotta start taking my time when i show y'all my outfit because i'll be like rushing through it which i don't know why so i'm gonna take my time and give y'all a little yeah a little razzle dazzle okay so um as y'all can see i got this army this on y'all i forgot about it it was in my closet i actually have only worn it 
once maybe twice so i decided to pull it out and i got some jeans on y'all y'all know my jeans favorite jeans then i got this sweater on this blue sweater on for some reason like i just love blue and gold combo like blue and gold combo to me is like top 10 like it is and then i threw on my uggs because i feel like the gray in it matches the gray like on my thingy thing thing right here so and i got this blue and gold bag y'all to go with my fit and obviously as i told y'all we doing gold jewelry and yeah that is my fit y'all see i styled my hair my makeup is like so cute and simple and my lashes they just they you know you know they bring out that girl in me okay so yeah um that's that it's a glasses type of day i was debating on putting on contact lenses but no ma'am no thank you and my lip combo went crazy as y'all can see but that is my outfit fit y'all i gotta take um pictures for the thumbnail or whatnot but that is my outfit and no more rushing through my outfits tours for y'all no more okay yeah mm, yeah say no <laughs> anyways y'all have a blessed good night and that's all i got for y'all stay safe you know what i'm trying to say and that's it stay safe don't get in trouble don't stay out of trouble if you can okay i love y'all i appreciate y'all thank y'all for watching and i'm gonna see y'all in the next video where i inspire your desire to be great to be